Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Jeff Horn and his team said he was forced to train in the sauna in the desert before the Terrence Crawford fight. Stay tuned. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and the greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, I'm looking forward to Crawford, Horn, Horn, Crawford, June 9th, this next upcoming weekend, MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Should be a good fight, as long as it lasts or if it goes a distance. Now, I read a story on Fox Sports. Link is in the description so you can read it verbatim and make sure there's no foul play. And I was actually on another site and they had a link to it or another page, I guess you could say. And I seen a title that it really threw me for one, like threw me for a loop. So I'm like, what, you ever see something that just catches your eye? You're like, what is this about? Yeah, I gotta uncover Narnia. <laughs> it said oppressive. I don't know if you guys know what oppression means, all you dumb motherfuckers out there. <laughs> it says oppressive, all cat, oppressive. So I'm like, oh shit. Django Unchained over here, you know what I'm saying? Oppre Somebody's being oppressed, you know what I mean? So I'm like, what is this? And it says, Horn forced to train in a sauna. A quote, sauna. So I'm like, oh shit. This is like, you know what I mean? Nazi Germany or something. Like a concentration camp. A sauna. Like what the fuck? So I clicked on it, right? And it was an, <laughs> it's an interview. Jeff Horn and his team are complaining about training in the top ranked gym in Las Vegas. So let me start with the quotes and then I guess I'll fast forward to my thoughts. He says, and I quote, the Americans are doing everything to try to rattle me, Horn said to Fox Sports, right? I got off the long flight from Brisbane, Australia and did a few rounds to loosen up, but it was just too hot to train in that gym for too long. I could have damaged myself. Who builds a brick and tin gym in the desert with no air conditioning anyway? Right, and then his trainer Glenn Rushton added on to this and like kind of basically corroborated Horn. He said the facilities and conditions here are very oppressive. We were expecting to work out in 100 degree heat, and I believe the temperature is, is going to be above 100 next week ahead of the fight. The top ranked gym has a tin roof, so the heat is stifling. Ooh, stifling. I was like, oh shit. The people who run it told us their air conditioning didn't work. Then we tried to get the big metal roller doors lifted, but they were locked tight and no one had the key. The punching bags were in poor shape and the speed ball was totally deflated. We eventually got one of the roller doors up yesterday, but we don't want to continue training there, right? All week, I will be telling Jeff he has to go for the jugular. I believe that when Jeff starts to land heavy shots, Terrence Crawford will crumble. He will fall apart and lose for the first time as a professional. We've seen these big talking or big taking Americans talking Americans fall apart when the pressure's on. The best way to beat a bully is to bully him back. Crawford will be facing Horn, who is a 20% better fighter than the one who beat Manny Pacquiao. Now, this is pretty alarming to me, like to hear like this whole rendition of a top ranked gym basically remember when tupac <laughs> went to the quad city studios and he was like oh you didn't know biggie's homeboy shot you because they bragging that's what that's what i get from jeff horn they're making it sound like this is some scheme and stay scheming like this is some elaborate setup the americans what what is really going on? The Americans are doing everything to try to rattle me. So that doesn't even make sense. Let's see, I listen to what people say and then I try to break it down. He says the Americans are trying everything to rattle me. So just listen to what they said. They're like, oh, the speed bag is deflated and the roof is made out of metal and it's just smoldering heat and stifling and all that, right? So 
you think a top ranked gym that has been in Las Vegas for God knows how long. I know it's been a while because I know trainers that have trained out there. Um, Andy Ruiz was there and I don't even think he's there anymore. Like, don't think he trains predominantly out of that gym anymore. Stuff like that. So it's been a long standing gym. So whatever the roofing is made of, the metal tin or whatever, you think that Dr. Strange worked for top rank and then forecasted the future to know that Horn would be facing Crawford for the WBO title and as a result decided to um, lock the big metal doors and to use a tin roof so the heat would be stifling just for you, right? You know what I'm saying? How many people have trained in that top rank gym? You know what? The gym has been there so long, I would even venture to say that Floyd Mayweather was there. I don't know if they've done renovations or remodeled, but I'm, I'm pretty sure because I remember when um, Floyd was being managed by Jay Prince and, and he owed people money. I think that's the gym that Jay Prince's people went down to, to, you know what I mean, to collect, to collect their dough or whatever. So this gym has been there for forever. It's not like they're doing this just for Jeff Horn. So I don't understand this whole setup thing. Like, you know what I mean? The Americans are trying to rattle me. I mean, they open up their gym to you. It's built and constructed how it is. And that's just the re reality of it. But to say it's oppressive heat and like they <laughs> turned it into a microwave specifically for you. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't sound like anything underhanded. I've been to Vegas. I haven't been to that gym inside that gym or whatever, but I've been to Vegas several times and bruh, it's hot as fuck. You know what I mean? It's super hot out there. And that's just the reality of the situation. I remember I covered Andre Ward versus Kovalev. I covered both of them, but the second one, the rematch, it was in like June or July or something. And it was hot as hell in Vegas. You know what I mean? And then we were in these tight little, you know what I mean? Because it was at, I think, Mandalay Bay or something on the second one. And tight little rooms. And it, it was just hot going from hotel to hotel it was hot my hotel taking an uber alone i was like damn vegas is just like that i've been in sean porter's gym sean and kenny porter's gym oh well, actually they don't like what i call a gym their high performance center right several times i've been in there i filmed in there several times right and as a cameraman i'm sweating i'm like gosh and all i'm doing is like Joey Spencer or Sean Porter, they're the ones actually doing the actual workout. I'm just filming and I'm like totally sweating like I had a workout. It's hot in there, it's humid, right? At the High Performance Center, right? And I've been in the Mayweather gym several times, same thing. Floyd loves it, that's what you guys see in the title. Floyd, he actually, he won't even use the AC. I think they have AC, but every time I go to the Mayweather gym, it's, it's a little bit stuffier, you know what I mean? And he likes training in the condition. Another person, this is not even in Vegas, this is in Cali. Andre Ward, been in his gym several times. They have a set of mirrors and like weight hands. And Dre, he trains in front of the mirrors like shadow boxes. Bah, 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 ah, 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 ah. And he's just doing his thing, right? Above it, they have a heater. Like the whole ceiling is comprised of a heat. It's like, if you ever seen those space heaters, it's like that, but it's like these large metal grills. And while Dre is shadow boxing in the mirror, ha, 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 they turn the fucking heater on. I thought I was going to die. I was like, oh my God. I was just filming too. I'm not, I'm not shadow boxing with him. And it was super hot. He does that too. I thought I was going to fight Kovalev because I'm, I'm like, God damn, I'm going to make weight. You know what I'm saying? Because they had it so hot in the war's gym. So, um, I don't really like to hear this ahead of a fight because fights are, are brutal and it, it seems like for a fight of this magnitude, there's, I don't know, it just seems like Horn's team seems a little bit out of character. Like the, everything's like coming into fruition, coming into focus and stuff like that. But I've been to several boxing gyms and, and majority of them are very high. I've been at Crawford's boxing gym, the b, b boxing gym in Omaha several times it gets hot in there too you know what i mean Omaha's a little bit different because it's in the midwest so sometimes it's um the weather's not it doesn't get like super hot but the gym itself all these gyms get stuffy so i don't really know what jeff horn and his team are used to in australia maybe the climate itself is different or maybe they're more industrialized and he's, he's used to these like um day spa type of gyms with perfect ventilation systems and stuff but i've been in some fancier gyms 
I've been in some hood gyms, I've been in some in-between gyms, and most of them in boxing are hot as fuck. So again, I know Jeff Horn is a teacher, so maybe with the school district or something, he's used to like, you know, classrooms and shit with AC and the, hey, open your books to chapter seven. You know what I mean? He might be used to something like that, but this is something different. So me personally, I, I prefer not to hear stuff like this because if you're complaining about a desert being hot, and making it sound like Americans are trying to set you up, what would you possibly complain about or how are you gonna be acting if things aren't going your way against this skilled guy, Terrence Crawford? Now, I do believe Jeff Horn is durable. I think he's tough. I think he has a, a massive heart, but these early signs, complaining about the horsehair gloves and like saying you don't prefer them it seems weird it's why why would the puncher not want the puncher's glove the mexican horsehair gloves why are they saying that oh the top rank gym has a tin roof and it's stifling and they told us the ac didn't work and we try to lift the door like you're a fighter like this is this is like basic conditions and, and to say like this is day to day like i have to film in this in this and i'll be at gyms for you know what i mean two three hours sometimes filming in this and then the fighters in there are working out in this and the facilities and conditions are very oppressive i don't know me personally i just think that it's um crazy i mean you just look at the article it said horn said he felt totally disrespected by the crawford camp and the u.s promoters weren't doing him any favors who builds a brick and tin gym in the desert with no air conditioning anyway? I mean, like I said, I don't know what, what they're used to in Australia climate wise, but Vegas is just hot. Um, I might even do a, throw a screenshot in, but it's supposed to be like upwards of 110 degrees next week. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Like push your T set, get ready for a surgical summer. Vegas is just always like that. So it's dry. It's a desert. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what he's expecting the the winters can get really cold and the summers in spring can get really hot it's a desert but to blame this on top ranked gym and to make it like there's some vendetta against you or giving terrence crawford an advantage crawford might even go up there to train i don't know i don't know when he gets in vegas he doesn't have to acclimate as much but it seems like jeff horn's team is, is taking it as if this was something deliberate against them let me just read the article. That's It says, jet lagged and jaded. Horn tried to recover from the long flight from Brisbane at the top ranked boxing gym in Las Vegas on Thursday, only to find the temperature at almost 40 degrees and no air conditioning. And then it says the Americans are doing everything to rattle me. So I don't know. I don't know what type of fight he's expecting. I don't know what, but this seems to me a, a bit petty to... To make it like um, they're just out to get you in this gym because like I said however it's built the tin roof and deflated speed bags and worn heavy bags that's what everyone who's using the gym you think they just put in shitty equipment like we change the bags out because you were coming let me know what you guys think drop your thoughts in the comment section make sure you smash the like button as always hate comment and subscribe to the next video ego so if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel you can show your appreciation by going to the paypal donate button or the youtube support button and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video much more to come thank you guys for your support boxing ego the future of boxing <laughs>